So, hello friends, today uh, I get to do a comparison of two lenses that I've been wanting to compare for a really, 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 really long time. And then those lenses, or more specifically, that lens, is the Micronicor uh, 105mm f2.8 G. And then uh, the main difference is that one version is uh, made in China. And then uh, you have another version, which is made in Japan. So this is the uh, main difference between these two lenses. Uh, the version made in Japan uh, was made in Japan uh, until uh, 2008, uh, beginning and uh, I don't know. Uh, and then uh, starting from uh, yeah, 2008, 2009 until today this lens is being made in China uh, okay so uh, I just want to compare them obviously in image quality but then uh, we're going already to, to inspect the lenses uh, visually to find two the differences so the first one which is uh, very obvious here you have the serial number here which is just a sticker here and then uh, here on the Japan version you have a uh, the serial number down here and it is engraved and uh, painted and then um, let's say about the finish I prefer um, the Japan version even though they look very 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 similar uh, here on the buttons here uh, they look pretty much the same even though I read somewhere that the buttons are a bit stiffer on the Japan version um, but to me they seem the same uh, so and then here on the front of the lens they look very 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 similar then what can I say here is that the engravings here on the Japan version uh, they feel uh, a bit deeper in comparison to, to those here on the China version and then uh, last but not least uh, at least on the body and uh, you have the BR sticker here which is uh, well centered here on the Japan version and then it is a bit offset here on the China version obviously this is not very important for the image taking process then uh, more uh, regarding of it, uh, to the image taking process so I have here the two lenses they look very 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 similar then uh, only difference is the reflection of the lamps I use here for lightning uh, they are a bit different meaning uh, this is the Japan version uh, meaning that uh, probably uh, the coatings are different so this is quite obvious here uh, let me swap just to see it is just a visual effect and then okay the, I have the Japan version here now uh, and then a uh, China version this is not very easy okay uh, okay the front coatings look rather similar I thought there was a difference but uh, I don't seem to get a clear difference here however on the back I know there is a difference here uh, here as you will be able to see this is uh, the China version which I am moving now uh, just uh, reflects back uh, green and uh, purple and then here uh, on the Japan version uh, you have a, a reflection which is green and um, a bit amber I would say just to see comparison side to side and then you see there is a slight difference so there is probably a difference in the coatings recipe otherwise here and uh, the bayonet the finishing are uh, very similar and then besides uh, these two or three details I just pointed out before um, there is no big difference between these two lenses <coughs> then I also waited 
for uh, comparison and then I found uh, one gram difference between the two lenses which is obviously, obviously nothing and um, okay so that's it uh, for the cosmetical comparison oh I forgot the hoods but then and the hoods there isn't much to compare because uh, they are both made in China or both versions and then they look uh, pretty much the same uh, okay so that's all for the cosmetic comparison now then uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to take uh, a few pictures with these two lenses each time exactly the same picture I'm going to use obviously a tripod and then I'm going to use my D600 camera which I am using now to record the video and to get nice resolution and then uh, we'll just check those images just in a few seconds so see you guys so hello friends I am back and I made many comparison pictures uh, but then at the end I decided to keep it simple and since we're talking about uh, macro lenses I decided to do a macro shot um, and then uh, I took a small this uh, small bunny that belongs to my daughter uh, here on this side we have the made in Japan version of the lens here on this side we have the made in China version of the lens so here uh, the technique and um, what we did is we put everything on the same platform really 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 rigid right tripod and um, the camera was equilibrated with the lens and the lining setup uh, was fixed uh, so the only difference we have here uh, between uh, the two photos are because of the lens well at least this is what i hope and uh, okay so we we have here the image is made at f3.5 so this is the um, the opening you get uh, uh, well the opening the aperture and you get uh, at the working distance here we, I think we were at uh, 50 centimeters working distance and then uh, first thing we can see here is that uh, both images look similar and this fiber here uh, which was lying on this uh, on the desk of this uh, bunny uh, was used as a reference uh, to do the um, the focusing so this point on the image uh, should look sharpest so and then here uh, we can already see a small difference uh, between the two lenses uh, we see here that um, this fiber is a bit darker here and uh, here uh, yeah it's not at, as dark as on the other side but here with we are at 200 percent so meaning in real life uh, this difference is going to be uh, rather small uh, okay so here um, one may say that uh, yeah um, yeah here you are a bit sharper here you don't uh, and then here uh, the other sharp point uh, on the image is around the, he the ears of the bunny and then uh, if you ask me um, for me both images look the same and the only thing that changes here a bit uh, that I prefer uh, on the Japan version of the lens is the color rendition you see here uh, the color here this brown looks a bit warmer on the, on the Japan version uh, and then this is probably due to the cuttings that we saw uh, before that are different so uh, if we move um, to the next aperture which is f5.6 uh, uh, so here uh, we see that the image is indeed and uh, sharpening so we go to a reference point so but uh, look uh, very similar with this lens here being uh, yeah darker uh, I don't dare seem saying sharper because uh, yeah it doesn't seem to me and uh, that it is the case for me they look very 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 similar here on the ear um, same thing uh, we keep 
the color rendition here which is a bit bit uh, warmer on the Japan version and then here uh, on the Chinese version uh, yeah we see that everything is darker which is a bit surprising but I just I think uh, this is uh, due to the coatings again so we can inspect here again so here on the bottom it looks like uh, uh, the Japan version is a bit sharper so uh, we go beyond so we jump to f8 and butt lenses uh, and then uh, we see that the images are getting very 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 uh, how do you say that uh, yeah they're getting resolution so here uh, again to the point of reference and then still no news and they look very 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 similar then here uh, we already see a difference here uh, on the version made in china we see that all this region uh, is getting far more knitted than here with the chinese um, japan version uh, uh, otherwise and um, yeah the color rendition still with we already talked about it and uh, there is no difference here um, main difference is on the sharpness of the lenses so here we see a difference which is appearing already so uh, we jump to f11 here and then here too on the china version uh, and then here when we start uh, using uh, small apertures uh, we see that uh, here okay on the focusing point uh, so here we are at 200 so we cannot see big difference here but then on the face of the bunny uh, we can see that there is indeed a difference here the china version uh, is producing uh, more sharper results as you can see with these small uh, hairs well fibers around the the eye of the bunny and then here um, we can see that there is a it is a bit fuzzy so uh, on the ear uh, results um, yeah it's hard to tell the differences and then just to finish we jump to f16 then here we see that the um, the face of the bunny on the Japan version uh, got better you, we can see the fibers here uh, and then it looks really nice with this color rendition that I personally like but then uh, we see also that the version made in China got a lot better so we can see better the fibers around the eye of the bunny so um okay so this is it and we see that there is indeed a difference in sharpness there is a difference in color rendition between the two lenses so if you ask me and uh, then this is very very relative and um, if you ask me for me i prefer the japan version uh, for the color rendition and then for the sharpness uh, i'd say uh, the china version uh, it's clearly uh, winning here so but then uh, don't take everything i said uh, as an absolute true and uh, don't forget that there is lens variation uh, but overall, uh, both lenses are very, very, very good. So, uh, this is all I wanted to show you. Uh, you saw what I did. Uh, you make your own conclusions. And then, uh, see you for the next episode.